Toyota and Subaru are making a brand new vehicle together, or is it just Toyota finally unveiling the 8.6? Today, we'll find out. Grab your snacks and drinks, buckle in, and let's go. <laughs> Heading on over to Toyota's global page, Toyota Gazoo Racing. Okay, that's important here because that is letting you know that this is not just any other Toyota. This is a specifically race focused vehicle or sporty vehicle. And Subaru are going to unveil a new vehicle jointly developed. Let's make a good car together. And it's a talk session held jointly online on April 5th. Now, I believe this is like at one o'clock a PM on April 5th, which is roughly midnight my time. So I won't be live streaming this guys. I need to be able to function the day after this. So no live stream, but I de definitely make sure you're subscribed, smash the like button because I will be giving you guys the follow up. But today we're also gonna dive in on what exactly, not exactly, but pretty darn close to what this vehicle is likely to be. They give us a teaser image and they also give us a landing page, which we'll go over the landing page in a little bit, but I wanna go over this teaser image, this is huge, okay? So you might be saying, okay, well it's just a Toyota Subaru badge here. And the first thing that comes to mind is, well, shoot, Toyota hasn't announced uh, exactly what their 8.6 is all about. And recent reports suggest that it has been delayed due to Akio, Toyota CEO, he wants the 8.6 to differentiate from the BRZ other than just look. So we'll see how that all pans out, but this, could be something altogether. Why do I think it's an all new car? Well, they said it's an all new car, but let's debunk that this could be just the unveil of the Toyota 8.6, the Toyota version of the BRZ, you guys know. So we're gonna head on over to some images here and we're gonna compare. So looking at the, this front end, I'm, I'm assuming it's the front end of the vehicle because this looks like the hood line here and this looks like the grill line more than likely. We're just gonna debunk that it's the rear end real quick because if it was the 8.6 or BRZ, we know that there's a strong uh, hood line uh, right above the logo. Well, we don't have that here. Next image is the front end of the BRZ, the 2022 that we have a full idea of. Well, this isn't the same car. Uh, the lines don't look, they're not matching up right. So this is a very curved line here compared to a more flat line on the BRZ. And then looking right below the emblem, we have more curvature and an immediate drop off to the grill where here on, on this BRZ anyways, we have a strange flat bar, which could be for eyesight, safety technologies, not quite sure, but it, it's more rounded and then there's a, more space, a lot more space from the bottom of this emblem and the grill than there is from the bottom of this emblem and the grill. And of course the Toyota one will have a slightly different grill. That's why it, it, this looks like a grill here. And then we have just have a different style bumper for the Toyota version. Yeah, it's not the 8.6, it's not the BRZ. So what is this new car? Well, let's go back in time a little bit. Toyota's Twitter page. This was a while back. Gosh, doesn't even have the date. May 7th, 2020. So this is a while ago. While the GR Yaris is not hitting the States, unfortunately, perhaps it's time the US got a hot hatch to call its own. Join the Toyota GR family and never miss an update. And they even have a landing page on Toyota's upcoming vehicles for a hot hatch. So it's it's like everything but confirmed. We know it's coming. They're just being pretty secretive about it. Well, I think that's about all it all to end here with this let's make ever better cars together with Subaru. What are the details of this hot hatch? Well, we have more than you would expect, at least uh, unofficial ones coming from Japan. So over at Best Car Web, Japanese scoop site, Toyota Subaru jointly developed car information catch, four wheel drive sports car under development aiming for release in the fall of 2022. Just to give you an idea, this was in early February over a month ago. So this news came out before this announcement from Toyota and Subaru. So what do we know about it? Well, Toyota and Subaru are jointly developing a new WRC, uh, WRC World Rally Championship, I believe, machine. The body is similar in size to that of the Impreza Sport, and it combines a vertically mounted, horizontally opposed engine with symmetrical all-wheel drive and transmission. So this will be underpinned by another Subaru powertrain, another boxer engine, which, yeah, it's it's better than no sports cars, but I'd rather have like the GR Yaris's uh, turbocharged three cylinder. That thing's a complete hoop, but we don't know exactly what this engine's gonna be, but we'll get into a spreadsheet in a little bit that we'll talk more about it. 
And they further say that this is a completely different system than the four wheel drive or the GR4 is what they call it and the GR Yaris. Now over at my Subaru turbo engines, well, this could be in a Toyota now. I don't expect it to get the same turbo 2.4 liter that's gonna be in the WRX and STI, at least the new ones coming out this fall. It's possible, but I don't see that happening. Uh, so I think what we're, we're likely to see is either the 1.5 turbo, which I don't know if is on the market yet, or more than likely the 1.8 turbo, which we saw debut in the Lavorg. Uh, that engine has 175 horsepower and 221 pound feet of torque. I wouldn't be surprised if they can tune it for more power. That's my estimation. Would I like to see the 2.4 liter? Absolutely. But I don't think they're, I don't think Subaru wants to sabotage uh, their own WRX and STI. I, want, I think they want to have something unique. That's just my speculation. I don't think Subaru wants to cannibalize their own WRX sales or STI sales with having the 2.4 FA24F turbo engine in there or any variant of that engine. And I don't see them putting the naturally aspirated uh, 2.4 liter in it. It's a possibility, but we already have that in the 8.6 since this is gonna be a really small vehicle. And maybe they try to keep the pricing down on it, but it, remember, it's gonna have all wheel drive. That's pretty cool. 1.8 liter turbo, the CB18. That's what I'm guessing. And maybe they're able to up it to 200 horsepower by then, and maybe even more pound feet of torque. But let's get back to the official landing page uh, from Toyota. Subaru has their own one, their own as well. It's pretty much identical. So let's make ever better cars together for 5 2021. So make sure to check back uh, on the channel that day because we'll go further detail on what this vehicle is. We have an outline, which is more than I was expecting. I was going to come up with my own outline, how I thought it was going to go. Well, let's put that to rest. Here's, here's how it's going to go. Explanation of the purpose of the recital. So we'll hear all sorts of reasons why they're working together. Uh, the history of the alliance and the background to the joint announcement. So they're probably going to talk largely about the BRZ and the 8.6 in the next portion. Then we're going to get the vehicle unveil of this. What I'm expecting is a sporty hatchback, manual transmission, all-wheel drive. Pretty excited about it. They'll have a talk session, which we'll talk about who those talk sessions are with, and then future developments and initiatives. So they might give us some sneak images of the 8.6. That would be my guess. Uh, they might talk about the ETNGA platform, the electric platform Toyota and Subaru are developing EVs on. Um, and who are the speakers? Well, none other then Koji Sato, guys, this is the president of Lexus. He's also the president of Gazoo Racing. Uh, before he was president of these branches, he, wa he was the lead designer on the Lexus LC500 and on OSA. He's a legend, he's already a legend and he's got many, many more exciting things to do. He's the one that approved the IS500, dropping the 2UR GSE back into the IS for the first time in uh, what, seven years or so. That's super exciting. Koji Sato, hats off to you. On the Subaru end, we're going to have Tetsuro Fujinuki, and he is the general manager of technology and CTO. He wears many, many hats like Koji Sato-san. So very exciting to see these two big, big, exciting leaders of their company uh, talk about performance, new vehicle. I'm excited for it, guys. I really geek out over these things that you guys know. I have some bonus coverage for you guys, so strap in for a little bit longer. Uh, Isuzu, Hino, and Toyota accelerate case response through commercial vehicle partnership. Uh, well, Toyota and Hino are pretty much the same company, but now they're working with Isuzu to build electrified hydrogen fuel cell commercial vehicles. That'll be interesting to see how that takes off. And when you add all of their commercial success in Japan, they, they account for about 80% of commercial vehicles in Japan. So yeah, they're gonna further dominate the market, especially with automation and electrification and alternative fuels, things like that. So that's kind of cool. It'll be interesting to see where that goes. GTR news, uh, the R36 GTR it's pretty much going to be the R35 from what we're seeing here. It's just going to have a mild hybrid, uh, which we do have some power numbers on how that is going to be the electrification to uh, the twin turbo V6. It's a 48 volt mild hybrid and it has about 27 PS, which is let's say 26 horsepower and 250 Newton meters of torque, which is roughly 185 pound feet of torque uh, to assist the electric to assist the twin turbo V6. So even more power, more torque for the upcoming GTR. 
Doesn't look like it's going to be a redesign, guys. Looks like it's going to be a major refresh. Same body, same everything. Maybe they use more carbon fiber on it. That'd be my guess. It'll be interesting because Toyota, because Nissan has teased and shown us their their carbon fiber factory. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this all shakes out. But again, just take that with a grain of salt. And lastly, we're talking about some Korean auto news earlier in the week. About I think it was about eighty thousand. Genesis sedans were recalled due to fire risk. It just continues to burn through their entire lineup that, that recall. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. You can't, they don't even want you to park them inside, nor do they want you to park these Hyundai Konas inside that have all been recalled. I think roughly 80,000 worldwide of the Kona EVs as well. And it doesn't look like the automaker has given a clear plan on when cars will fix. They have no dates for the customers to bring their cars in. And yeah, it's kind of souring the taste of the EV owners uh, from Hyundai. So yeah, very interesting. I'll put the link in the description, but this video's gone on too long. A lot of news today. Cannot wait to see what I think is this all wheel drive manual transmission hot hatch from Subaru and Toyota. We don't have to wait long. Gosh, what a week? two weeks, something like that to see this unveil. Super excited guys. I'll see you in the comments below. If you made this fun video, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed for more Japanese Korean auto news, I'm currently reviewing a Mazda 3 turbo hatch. I don't know what to say, I'm excited. So guys, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves as always and peace out.